For each output track of your digital audio workstation, you need a source in the ELISA controller. Go to the Sources page. In our blue space, Island Session, we have already created 16 blank sources. But let's start from scratch and delete them. Now, double click on the first source name and edit it according to your first track. Move on with the Tab key. If no source yet exists in this row, this will create it, ready to be labeled, and also establish an input route. Notice that input routing will be ascending automatically. If you need to change an input route, double click on the number and change it for this individual source. Or select a range of sources and click assign to move the whole block. Two sources can be linked in stereo and modified together. They can temporarily be unlinked by clicking on the small connecting line. This is not only possible in the Sources tab, but also from the Sources list directly in the Soundscape. We will come back to this in the next video. Let's reset the routing again. Having many sources on the Soundscape can lead to an unclear view. Colors will help to distinguish your sources and you can also decide not to display rarely touched ones. They will then appear grayed out in the sources list and only displayed on the soundscape when selected. Go to the soundscape and open the display tab. Make sure show source color is checked. Open sources list and levels. When you run your digital audio workstation, you will see input levels on the input list, output levels on the level pane and you'll be able to modify the volume with the monitoring fader. You are now ready to place your objects.